Have you ever wondered why phone numbers look like this and not like this? Hello everyone, in this video we will be taking a look at the psychology behind the design of phone numbers and how it's applied in other aspects of our everyday lives. In the 1950s, a researcher named George Miller published a very famous paper where he suggested that humans can only hold seven pieces of information at one time in their brains. This has become known as Miller's Law. Later research on working memory has even suggested that humans are actually only able to hold four pieces of information all at once. Regardless of the true number, research shows that human memory is extremely limited, and it's hard for us to hold large amounts of information in our brains at one time. So what can we do about this? That's where a psychological technique called chunking comes into play. This is when things are broken down into smaller pieces so that our brains can process them in more manageable chunks, which improves how they're remembered. This gives us a sort of superpower to be able to memorize things we could never memorize before. Starting with the topic of this video, phone numbers. While phone numbers are not chunked in the same way in all parts of the world, what remains consistent is that they are chunked to some degree. So instead of having a massive number you have to remember, you just have a small series of numbers. Fun fact, Bell Labs, the people behind the US telephone network, used Miller's Law to lock US phone numbers at seven digits, which is further chunked to three digits and four digits, with the area code in front. And you know what? Chunking works with a lot of things including credit cards, pins, and license plates. This is why they are formatted the way they are, to help you process and remember them. UI designers know about this, and will often adapt input fields to chunking. Next time you input your phone number or credit card on a website, see if the form automatically separates the numbers as you type them out. This is used as a way to reduce the number of mistakes when you plug in this information. And chunking is not just seen with strings of numbers, you can also see it with words. Think about menus. How difficult would it be to read a menu if it was just one giant list of everything that the restaurant has? Maybe you've encountered a menu like this. It makes it much more difficult to find what you're looking for. So designers will often implement categories, boxes, and featured items to help chunk the information so that it is easier to process for customers. Or even emails. One thing that drives me nuts is getting a long email that's just a wall of text. Well-formatted emails are separated with paragraphs, bullet points, and other devices to make them easier to read and remember. So what do you think? Have you seen examples of chunking in your life? Would you be able to remember your phone number without it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.